Alright guys, um, just done a little video about the sniper that's in the corner there. You'll see that if you uh, search it. This is what I've been doing the weekend. I've been uh, doing some more roughing in. I had a ledge that went across here. This is all going to be, this is going to be blocked up yet over the pipe work and then all panelled in like I've done the front. I'm going to panel all around here, box it all in to keep the winter out of it. Um, got rid of the ledge yesterday, dug it down about 8 inches, then I've stapled the liner to the woodwork, so now it looks like the pill comes right the way to the edge, which it does, but obviously not deep enough for the, the fish to swim in. Um, they're enjoying themselves. The Nexus has done a fantastic job of clearing the water up, the Nexus Easy Pod Complete, that's the one with the built-in UV done a brilliant job, it's cleaned it all up. You can see, like I said before, this pool's four foot deep, believe it or not. You can see right to the bottom. And the fish seem to be enjoying themselves, they're having a good swim around. Um, I've got a mixture of a Japanese and Israeli crew. Like I say, it's, it's just my hobby, it's just something I like to do. I'm not showing them. I don't give a monkeys, always got to be Japanese, they're better. Um, I think at the end of the day it's what you enjoy, it's your pool, it's your hobby. Uh, you buy what you want, you know, if you, you know, like the, the, the Tancho there. I've seen their Japanese Tancho today. I paid £80 for him. He's just about a foot long. The one I saw today, the Japanese one, I paid £80 for that one, the Israeli koi. The Japanese one I saw today wasn't as long as him, to be honest. Didn't have as nice a spot on his head. And um, I he was a couple hundred pound. Uh, you know, like, um, and yet to the side of him there, the green fish, the Moragoi, he's a Japanese. Uh, he, I've got, like I say, a mixture of both in here. Um, not really bothered. It's, uh, it's my enjoyment. Some of these I've bought from tiny little, they weren't even Tosai, they were, I bought them the same year as they were, they were uh, hatched, so, you know, it's, uh, it's all about enjoying yourself and coming down here, throwing a bit of food in the fish, watching them come to the surface for it, and that's how I get my pleasure, um, like I say, just watch and enjoy, that's what it's all about. I've got, I've got, I know the, I know in most of the names. I've got a Matsu there. I've got a couple of Kohakus. I've got a Ginrin Chagoy. I've got a normal Chagoy. I've got a nice Showa there. I've got um, a Beko Tancho. That was a tiny little fingerling I bought last year. Bought about six of them. Three have survived. Uh, his mate is. Uh, He's actually turned out to be a Sankey, he's down there somewhere, he's the same size. I've got um, a blue Shasui, Shasui, blue Shasui is the red never came out on the sides, whether it ever will in the future I don't know. I've got um, a Shiratsuri, not the best black in the world, maybe it'll come up later. Uh, I've got uh, a Garamu, um, I've got uh, an absolutely beautiful Yamaboki Ogon, that's an Israeli koi. Uh, I've got a, a pure Gina there, absolutely beautiful skin, not a mark on it, ugly scales. Uh, I've got a normal Chagoy, that, uh, that's a, a Japanese Chagoy. Uh, I've got a ghosty, the reason I've kept the ghosty, it's when I first uh, dug myself a pool, like all hobbyists, I had a few goldfish in it. Then I saw a ghosty when we went to a, a local fish place, I bought a ghosty, he got big so he's probably what's got me onto koi carp because he got big so I dug a pool a bit bigger and should have done it from the beginning and dug a bigger pool, dug a pool a bit bigger, he grew some more, I put some more koi in with him, I had to dig another pool again so this is, this is pool number one, two, three, pool number four. 
uh, like I say it's approximately 13 feet long it's nine feet across and it's four foot deep and like I say I've got the Nexus Easy Pod complete I only put it in a couple of weeks ago that's keeping it nice and clean wasted a lot of money over the years doing things on the cheap thinking that this will do it and that will do it reading reviews about this this system will keep your pond nice and clear pressurized systems the fish made 45,000 the last one I bought cost me 500 pound um, not a patch on this uh, absolute complete waste of money um, and that's like I said the amount of money I've wasted uh, and my only advice would be to people try you know even if you have to save or um, make sure you get the right system from the beginning because your pool gets dirty your water gets green and cloudy you can't see your fish you've bought your fish to sit there and stand and to sit and watch and enjoy them and uh, obviously if you, <laughs> if you can't see them in the water you can't enjoy them so that's my only advice This is what it's all about, it's just watching them swim around in the water, enjoying themselves. They're enjoying themselves and I'm enjoying myself. Thanks for watching guys.